Now let's take a tour of the Google Classroom interface. Currently there are two basic areas of Google Classroom. One is the stream and one is the student section. We're going to go ahead and go into the student section first. When we go into the student section you will see any student who is enrolled in your class. They can enroll again via join code or you can actually add them in. This is also where we can remove students. So if I want to remove a student I'm simply going to check the box next to that student's name and and I'm going to go ahead and click on remove and it will say are you sure you want to do that we'll go ahead and say remove if you ever need to add a student and you don't want to do it through the class code you can click the add button now when you're searching you want to make sure that you are searching the directory so by default it went to my contacts so I want to make sure I'm looking in the directory because this is where I see all the Rockwood Google users so I'm going to type in this person's name and so I can find them and I have them in more than one area here so that's why you're seeing them show up multiple times I'm gonna say add student and now this student is now part of my classroom and you always get a little you know blurb at the top that kinda of says this is the action that you just took so you'll see that we have the ability to email um, that is not available to us right now because staff is not using Gmail we are still using Microsoft Outlook and so really from the student section that's all that we're really going to do so let's go ahead and go back to the stream in the stream there are several different areas that we want to take a look at first of all in the upper left hand corner this will get to your menu where if you want to jump to your other classes or you want to go back to the home screen that shows all your classes you can go ahead and do that on the right here it shows that we are logged in and also on the right we can change the photo so if you don't like the photo that you see across the top there are you know several selections that you can choose from currently right now you cannot add your own photo so you'll have to choose from one of the stock images um, that Google has provided as we go down here let's take a look at the stream and what is present right here If we start on the left hand side any assignments that you know the due date is coming to pretty soon you're going to see those as upcoming assignments and those will be listed here and that is the same for the students the students will also see the same area the class code again you always show your class code there so if you do need to get that quickly you have a new student coming to your classroom you can give that to them without having to look too much but in your stream you have two things right now you can add to the stream you have announcements and you have assignments and we'll take a look at how to add those in a future video so as we go down here you can see some examples of things that have been added to the stream so this was an assignment and you can see here a Google Doc is attached to it we gave it a copy to each student and you can see who's turned it in and who hasn't or just the numbers so if I say no one's turned this in I can simply click on that and it will jump in and tell me who are the people who have not turned this in so we'll explore that a little bit more when we talk about making an assignment anything in the stream you see you have your little three dots in the upper right that gives you the ability to edit or delete so these stream items we have announcements we have assignments you see here students can add comments anybody within the Google Classroom can get put an announcement in the stream or add a comment so as a teacher you kinda need to think about how you want to make that work and really that is the simplicity of Google Classroom you have seen the entire interface and so it makes it pretty easy to get started so now I think you're ready for classroom applications, and we'll see that in a future video.